Hey guys, I think it's fair to say that CCTV cameras mounted outside taking pictures of people and stuff is a good way to protect private property. One of the best projects I developed, I like to think, is is a, of a webcam in a hacker space in Singapore. And what happens like every hour, it uploads an image. And the cool thing about it, it's hosted on S3, it's got a nice structure, and, and the archive stretch back years. And it's all quite simple. But I wanted to go next level. And um, when I visited my parents in Cornwall, I wanted to set up a camera. Just testing if the drill works so that we can <laughs> properly <laughs> mount the camera. I got a, a long Cat7 thin cable. I already attached the, the thingies already. It's a bit wet. Cable's down here. But the idea is that this cable will run along the top here and we mount the, cam the camera there. Damn, it's raining again. So we've got the ladder going. So in an ideal world, once this POE camera is set up, I'll show you how it's set up upstairs later. We could just watch <laughs> what's happening on the back with this big screen. Okay, here. But unlikely, huh? So that whenever we have an issue with somebody or something on the on the farm, we can just look for uh, at the people that were, were there at that time. So I was looking for a camera that was like kind of smart on the edge. And the only thing I could find that didn't come cloud, I didn't trust this cloud stuff because namely my, my parents place has a tiny upload channel. So I heard that like, oh, the Google one, what's the Google one called Nest? That was really good at detecting people and cars and stuff. but since we just don't don't have the upload bandwidth um and i don't really trust the cloud um uh, so, for this sort of stuff i, I wanted to do it myself i.e hosted on s3 um i was looking rather at something like yeah the net the net tatmo but then at 217 pound i thought that was a bit expensive i couldn't justify the cost but i, I chose something much cheaper but at the same time, I've spent so many hours messing around in this bad UI that in retrospect, I should have gone for the Neta, Netatmo or whatever, however it's pronounced. So I, I, we, it was a toss up between the Hong Kong based high watch. And I thought, oh, Chinese, so I'm not going to go there. And, and then I eventually went for this Amcrest, which to be honest, is terrible software. It's, it's I spent hours and hours configuring it how I wanted to um, but now, yeah, I have it uploading much the same as a hackerspace cam. It's uploading, as you can see, between from 2 a.m. or something like that at my parents' place. And this is what, what it looks like now. I'll go into details now, but that's just to set you up here. How to set, how I set up my own CCTV. I didn't use an NVR. Um, I, I basically just use... A, AWS stuff and kept it kind of minimal, like the hackerspace camera thing. It's installed, the Amcrest, with um, the PoE AF cable running along into into the middle room, just a little bit higher than the telephone cable comes in. Show this light to my eye. So yeah, that's that's the telephone cable. A copper wire that always goes wrong comes in there and yeah the cat 7 af so I to be honest i think i just hit it doesn't look 100 percent level to me i'll show you the viewing angle in a bit this looks quite cool I'm pleased about this of course i was up on that ladder right. uh, even i even I, and i even Hi. So I can put the ladder away now. Yes, even even had to stand up there to put the, these. I was putting these tacks in. They don't catch the the flat Cat Seven very well, but um, I think they'll hopefully hold it up.
I'm indoors where our internet comes in. <sighs> There's a PoE whatever adapter and then it comes into this microtech. So outside we have the PoE AF going out the window. There's still a lot of cable that needs to be cleared up. And as you can see, uh, you know, it gets triggered by my my our dog, which is not great. And there's even one where it gets triggered by a pigeon. <laughs> but never mind that. I want you to quickly show you the train wreck of the Amcrest software, where it oh my gosh, it never remembers where the IP of my of the damn God, hold on, I have to figure out the IP now. It's like a Chrome extension that doesn't work in Linux at all because it installs some crazy plugin. Such terrible software. Like I've I've set it up now and I hopefully will never ever touch the software ever again. Getting the FTP working was was an absolute nightmare. And uh oh gosh. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I find it gets the the motion detection at night time gets triggered all the time because like spiders or, or rain just triggers it with the infrared. So the infrared night vision on this camera is, is particularly useless. The detection area set up here. Notice that there's a bit of a leaf on the left here. There's also some vegetation that sort of wobbles around when um, there's a bit of wind. So I purposely set up the camera to sort of just view the driveway of, you know, just static stones so that when something does come across it, this detection area marked in, in orange picks it up. There's this kind of useful sort of sensitivity threshold thing here um, to help you get that, to get, to help you get it right. But to be honest, the defaults are pretty okay at detecting people. And uh, yeah, as I mentioned, it's it's nighttime now and I don't, I don't have it on because it gets just triggered by like just rain and bugs or something thanks to the infrared. Don't take uh, image snapshots, I only record. And I've also, yeah, I've got it only recording between like 8 a.m. and uh, 10 o'clock. So don't, don't rob my parents in out of hours. <laughs> and uh, what else is there to say? Uh, uh, yeah, storage is set up for my FTP, which is basically um, my Raspberry Pi on the network. No cloud storage. And I'm actually uploading an H.265, but the way that the Amcrest do it is like the wrong codec, so hence I have to run FFmpeg over it on the Pi before uploading. Also, I I take a still from from the um, from the video, but the, yeah, the video compression is pretty nice actually. Um, so that's how it's set up, and I hopefully will never enter this program again because it really really sucks. I hope you agree that my setup here is perhaps better than using something like Shinobi CCTV or some NVR. It just simply puts everything on an S3 bucket and I have that little GitHub repo below where I, where I can view the videos day by day. Um, also, it enables my parents to see the, the pictures, uh, the videos day by day. And I have a life cycle rule that the videos go to Glacier after a few days so that we save on, on any costs. And and if it, and if if something came up, you know, we can always just dig at the videos from weeks or ago or something like that. Another good thing about this is that it kind of easily scales. If I have several uh, cameras uploading by FTP to the Raspberry Pi, it's not a big deal. It can easily go into this pipeline and upload to the same uh, viewer as long as you the you know it keeps the same directory structure and prefix year month day. I think it's a pretty good system. I hope it will last as long as my my hackerspace camera. If you guys know better, please let me know. Please like the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And please comment below. Bye, guys.